to create a meeting, uh, one of the best ways to do so is actually go into the team. Um, it, it simplifies the process. So if I was here in my um, mentor group and I go down to the camera icon here uh, and I can click me meet now, but down here it says schedule a meeting. That's really nice because it plops up and pre-populates. That's gonna be my mentor group team. And you can add in a title, like this is a test, not a real meeting. Um, and add in, you know, details, like please do not attend, okay? But here's the thing, as soon as you send it, um, th some of the meeting options are actually, you can't see them until you hit send. And then if you, if you click back into this meeting, um, which, come on, view meeting details, there we go. Uh, there's now this tab that says meeting options right here. And when you click it, it'll look like nothing happens because it opens in your browser. So you have to go to your browser and if you were already using Teams in the browser, great. But if you weren't like I was, you gotta go to your browser. And one of the things that you definitely should change is who can present. If you leave it at everyone, then students can mute you, they can turn off your camera, they can mute each other and turn off each other's camera. So you want it to be only me, okay? Turn it to only me. Um, and you can uh, choose to let people bypass the lobby so that they can just you know come right in um, and not have to wait for you to give permission or not. You can have it do uh, whatever. So these are other settings here, but the biggest one for us as teachers is to make sure that we're the presenter um, so that they can't do things like mute and turn off video of other, other students and also you as a teacher. And then hit save and there you go. Now when you do it, you're the only one who has the control to mute or turn off video of other people um, and students don't have that power.